Hi, in this video, let's check how to fire an SLL for your entry trades. So uh, we have recently released the new update with which you can fire SLL trades on entry. So let's first find out what exactly is an SLL. So an SLL is basically a limit order that you send to the broker um, and the, the limit order will have a particular price, uh, a trigger price as well as a limit price uh, based for the execution for the same. So let's assume uh, the ATM instrument currently is uh, trading at 100 rupees, but you want to enter once it is trading at 50 rupees, let's say around 50% uh, below the entry price. So basically you can fire an SLL for that particular purpose. So in this video, I will cover how can you fire your SLL for, uh, for uh, this particular order on Tradetron and we'll actually place the order and see how it goes. So um, uh, I have my entry condition set up here. Entry conditions are simple, uh, a simple 920 straddle uh, conditions. Um, in your position builder, the difference uh, that you need to make will be that you will enter a stop loss trigger and a limit price. Let's see how do we do it. So I'll first select my instrument. Um, let's say I want to place an SLL for nifty call. Um, I'll select my strike as ATM and product will be normal and I want to trade in one lot and I'll select my expiry as current week expiry. Now I'll have a stop loss trigger price. So I'll select FX and in FX I will use a keyword called round and in round I'll select math operation and my base will be 0.05. This is so that we can round it to the nearest tick size. We don't want a calculation that, that is something like 17.37 because that kind of uh, price will not be supported by the exchange. So we want it to be rounded to the nearest tick size, which is 0.05. Now in math operation, I'll select LTP and I will select number. Now I'll select my operator as multiplication. I basically want to go 50% below my uh, entry price. Now 50% is just something that I'm selecting. You can select any number as per your logic. Now in your instrument name, you can select uh, NFO, Nifty and select the instrument that you want to uh, check the LTP of. So it is the current week expiry call and the ATM instrument and I'll select OK. So now I have defined which instruments LTP do I need to select. Now I want to define how how much below the uh, current trading price do I want the uh, SLL to be entered at. So I'll select my number as 50% uh, uh, 0 0.5 uh, you can select, uh, let's say if you want 10% uh, below, you can select 0 0.9 and so on. Now I'll submit this and I will close this. I will have to do the same for the limit price. Um, I'll again select round and I'll select math operation. Base will be 0 0.05. Okay. Now in math operation, I'll select my first, uh, my first number as LTP and I will select number second as number. Mm, and I'll select my operator as multiply and I'll select instrument name as again NFO nifty uh, current week expiry I'll select call and I'll select ATM uh, now I'll use number 0 0.55 this limit in case of a buy will have to be a little more than uh, than the than the trigger price that you have selected um, so I've selected the number and I'm closing this up. So I'll add this and I'm updating my strategy. So this is just a test uh, strategy that I'm doing. Uh, update. So there you can see the strategy is updated and now I will deploy it. So I will deploy it on live auto and I'll select my broker as Kotak Securities and I will deploy it. Let's go to the deployment. In my filters, I'll select live auto and I will filter it. So you can see my strategy SLL on entry has been uh, triggered. It has already gone to the live entered status and uh, you can see the current LTP of the same. So if I click on the instrument, you can also see that the quantity out here is zero. So uh, quantity will stay zero until the order has been filled. So this is currently fired a trade in 17,450 um, and we can uh, now check the same in the broker terminal. So I can see the broker terminal. I'll just reload this page.
and in the order book you can see there's one pending order book and let me show you the details of the same so i'll just go to order details and you will see my order price is 22.25 basically it took uh, it took the ltp which would be around 40 44 or so and it basically uh, fired a trade uh, at, at a limit uh, price of 22.25 so this way you can basically fire uh, limit uh, based trades so now Tradetron is continuously checking, uh, Tradetron has already fired the, uh, the trade to the broker. Once this trade gets executed, um, it, will, it will send another signal uh, back to Tradetron saying that this trade has been executed. And once this is executed, after that, your uh, repair conditions and universal exit conditions, etc. will be continued to be checked. Uh, one thing to note out here is that let's say if I go to this three dots and I select exit from here. My strategy will immediately change its status and it will become exited. Now that it has become exited, this pending SLL order that had been uh, that had been fired to the broker will not be cancelled. It will only be cancelled uh, in case of a universal exit happening as per the as per the logic setup. So if you manually exit this strategy and this order has not been uh, this order has not been uh, triggered yet, it is yet uh, pending at the broker's end. There will not be a cancellation for this particular order. So you'll have to manually go to your broker account and you'll have to cancel it. Once you cancel it, you can redeploy the strategy. And again, the same uh, condition check uh, and logic will begin for the same. So I hope this uh, video helped. If you have, uh, if you have any uh, recommendations on what we should cover in future topics, you can let us know in the comments below. Thank you.